discussion from last week. Yes. Yeah. I, I felt like we we got some things in order, and I'm expecting that to lock itself in within the next couple meets that we have, which I think would be great to open with Kansas. Open to that idea? with the uh... Yes, yeah, as the opening, yeah. So I, I was like... Uh, I, I even wanted to take a crack at writing it. I never did. Um, just to see what you thought about it. But I don't care. I don't know how we're going to handle the actual writing of the script. If there might be sessions or meets that we have where you and I are doing this and in there together. In the, in the you know. In the document yeah. itself, yeah. Because I remember what... Uh, I remember you saying when I kind of pitched the idea originally that the idea of the Jaws approach to Max Katie. Totally. Just extending yes. the time until you see him for yourself. Just yeah. a bit. But at the same time, I would love to have it be every scene. Um, but it, if, if not every scene, at least close to every scene that there is evidence of Max Katie. Yes. Yep. And I, I think the thing about Kansas that I, my mind went there for a few reasons, it felt contemporary as an opening. Um, like it has elements of, of horror and thriller. Yeah. Like at least the way that I'm seeing it in my head visually. Um, and I, you know, the, the go-to shot in my head is you know it's it's the the camera uh at the front of the car inside the car between the driver and the passenger seat you're tracking with them as they're driving and they round a corner and so you almost hit her i think there are scenes that are so iconic from uh both of them that we have to be original with. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that was that was one thing that in in revisiting at least the, the original film, uh I suddenly started to feel a little bit of pressure. Oh. <laughs> and so seeing the extent and acknowledging the extent of influence that Cape Fear had this is this is sort of the thing that i would that i would love to do for this conversation is both of us just get on the same page about like even just moments um how might we want to approach this moment in the cape fear narrative um i love the focus on danny Let's just say the daughter, whatever, and her kids, the grandkids, because that to me, um, I don't know. I had almost the Jaws feeling about what if that was. Uh, let's just say that it was for Har Harrison, and Harrison's character as the old grumpy grandpa is, uh, you know, the old bear in the cave that's hibernating. Don't wake me up. He's in a dark room. Maybe Danny deals with her father and then goes back to the kids, and there's no real relationship there at all. Um, but I, I love it with Max Kitty, but for some reason I had this train of thought just reading your stuff today. I, th I added it in red there, the the old bear in the cave approach that in the end comes back around to maybe he makes the ultimate sacrifice with his own life for his family. Compromise in terms of the baiting, baiting yeah. of his family. Yes, yeah. And the first compromise could be something to the effect of him, him going away. And now Max Cady has free reign with his family. What you're talking about with the kind of bear in the cave approach to 
Mm. Um, Sam Bowden. Uh, because in ruminating on this new Ethan Hawke character, I was... The first place my brain went to is what does the... What do we see of just Ethan outside Hawk? of Cape Fear? How much do we show of his character outside of the Cape Fear story that we know? Yeah, home life. Home life. And, you know, it's a very uh, easy image to conjure up, but just him, like, sitting at the table and... Uh, talking with his kids over dinner and I suddenly was was thinking like is he sort of like a spiritual homage to Sam Bowden as the films have portrayed him like yeah is if if we take a different approach to Sam Bowden in this Cape Fear and he's the older more weathered uh and potentially more withdrawn, does Ethan Hawke potentially fill the shoes of the family man that you're that you're hoping the best for? Who's our protagonist? The idea for this this character has really got me uh, kind of questioning that in, in in a few ways. Who's Who's the protagonist? Who is the... What? <clears throat> Man, it'd be so interesting. It'd be so interesting to treat Max and Sam as equal antagonists. Mm. Mm-hmm. They're both in their own sh- and Yeah, they're going at each other. Uh, antagonizing one another. Being unfair to one another. Yeah. And Ethan Hawke is the mediator because it's in his town. It's in his turf. Yeah. What are your thoughts uh, as far as as far as Sam's wife is concerned? I highlighted when you said um, that his wife might have been victimized by Max Katie. Giving Max Kitty no justification whatsoever to come after Sam. What I, well, here's what, what I kept wondering is like, you know, reading about this, this guy who, uh, you know, he, he got the recognition and the, the medal uh, after the fact of this, this massacre for him, you know, getting these civilians to safety. You know, my first instinct was, oh, this is Sam Bowden. So Sam Bowden, we take this approach that, you know, Max Cady tormenting, doing bad shit, and Sam Bowden's the one who steps in. And then I went, well, what if he didn't step in and that's haunted him? What if that's, what if he didn't step in soon enough and that stuck with him and informed? Yes. Which would be similar to the ninety one, right? Burying the burying the report. And so, yeah, when you that that clip of Spielberg talking about how you know Scorsese wanted to go in and make the the family make it just messy, as opposed to just yeah. the clean cut. I was you know listening to that. I was all for it. I just don't think that the whole like potential affair, the the affair suspicion, I. I thought sort of trivialized. Yeah. I didn't think that was necessarily the way to go about it. Uh, But I, I liked what he was going for. Like something that I wanted. And I think I briefly mentioned to you was the use of methamphetamine by, by Max Katie. And the paranoia, the power oh dude so there was this one story that i heard about vietnam from a co-worker of mine who said i don't remember who related to him was in the war Sh- there's a chinese or 
you know, you you get him. There's an Asian dude running at them. It was uh, PCP is what they were on. Um, spelt. Um, so they're aiming at him. And, uh, and, um, <laughs> shoot probably eight times. And the dude is still running. And, um, I, I think eventually he just got to, no, 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 I think it was a headshot. I think that's what took him down. Was a headshot. But the power, the absolute absurdity that a person on meth, if they were to have control of the situation with a weapon over you and your family, um, uh, not just Max Katie, but Max Katie whacked out on drugs. That is so unpredictably scary. I definitely down to explore that. These these last couple of weeks in, in between um, our last meeting and now I h- history was sort of my focal point with research. The next step I feel like is, is the health, the biological and psychological. Um, so getting deep into dementia and the ins and outs of dementia outside of just the the bits and pieces that I know from just observing it and, and family members and um, uh, you know eyewitness accounts so to speak it's terrifying you know where maybe I can focus on the uh, struggles of sam bowden um maybe this is where we do one of those like splitting it you know splitting by character between the two of us in like you know what yeah what does max katie on this substance look like i love that you've mentioned it before and we didn't do it or we didn't go into it but i remember i think it was two episodes ago and so i would love to do Character bios. You do Sam, I'll do Max. Awesome. Uh, So circling back briefly to uh, Sam's wife, um, Carol. So is she still around? Um, Is she departed? If she's still around, uh, you know, what's her health what's the state of her health him being a widower in this version makes sense to me yeah. um but i am certainly not latched on to that uh and I'm definitely open to exploring yeah. other possibilities but, but um would love to know sort of where your head's at with that um, I just had a couple of flashes as you were talking about Sam being so disgruntled and negative and grumpy and all that. And having his wife Carol, uh, let's call her ex, ex-wife Carol, maybe they divorced, um, fine and dandy and almost snooty. Um, I'm, I'm picturing American Beauty the wife interacting with a rather frail person and even belittling him having no sympathy for his situation maybe not even understanding his situation yeah to max katie because um he's going stop don't come hurt me in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something to you before you do something to me. Uh, maybe it could be like the abuser is being abused type of scenario. Showdown, still kind of leaning towards sniper battle. I yeah, 
Or rifle. I was thinking... Um, you put rifle, a rifle brigade in your Vietnam thing. And I kind of liked rifle. I actually liked... Um, this is what flashed in my head as I was reading your shit. Sorry to call it that. Um, I was thinking, what if it was a close range shot in which you have a callback to, um, clever girl. Oh. <laughs> Instead of from far away, you get, you get the, that scene from Jurassic Park mixed with Hell or High Water. <laughs> yeah 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 where he sneaks up to him in the bush interesting maybe they tussle after that <clears throat> most of my itches has been scratched as far as like things I wanted to relay to you both not this project and this project so um, I would actually be okay um, letting you go I was going to suggest if you would like to do maybe shorter meets, but more frequently, I would also be open to that. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Character bios, you know, I feel like that would be relatively easy. Just a page. I'm just thinking a page. I, uh, thank you as always, dude, for your time. Yeah. And, thank you. Uh, love doing this and really excited directions yeah, it's dude. taken. Yeah, that, that is um, my idea for the more frequent talks, too. Um, I also had the idea of there's this app that I think allows you to, like, watch um, like this. It's called, like, Watch Together or Watch Now or something. Oh, wait a minute. I think I've heard of that. That was something I thought of just before we hopped on this, so. Um, that would be, you know, that was my idea t to do frequent, um, trade-offs. <clears throat> so, like, say the seventh, we just watched and discussed a movie. And instead of take, um, taking notes, it could be a verbal discussion. And that wouldn't even need to be content. Uh, if we wanted to rotate and not do content for that every other week, 